Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. This is a concise, well-crafted summary and it highlights only the important keywords. Liver transplantation. So first is, uh, let's look at some indications. The indication is, first is, what is the most common indication? Most common indication is nothing but the hepatitis C, virus induced cirrhosis. The second most common indication includes alcoholic liver disease. And the most common indication in case of pediatrics will be the biliary atresia. The most common metabolic disorder requiring the requiring LT will be the alpha antitrypsin deficiency, alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency is the most common metabolic disorder requiring the LT. Then the most common indications following the acute liver failure will be the acetaminophen, aminophen uh, toxicity. Now let's move on to the contraindications for the liver transplant. So what are the contraindications for the liver transplantation? So first is there is an absolute contraindication. So absolute contraindication means as advanced cardiopulmonary disease as well as active untreated sepsis, the metabolic uh, metastatic malignancy of the liver. Next the acute alcohol abuse, the severe intractable depression as well as extensive venous thrombosis. Now let's move on to the relative. So what do we mean by this relative? The age being greater than 70. So this varies by the uh, transplant center. Next is obesity. So obesity where the BMI is greater than 40. Then cholangiosarcoma. The chronic or the refractive active infection. The ongoing tobacco use or the illegal drug use. And what are the types of the liver transplantation? So first is the orthopic liver transplantation. So orthotopic liver transplantation is where the graft is placed in a normal anatomical position. The heterotopic is where the graft is placed at an alternate site. The axillary is where the native liver remains in situ and a whole or a partial transplant is added. Then comes a pult, APOLT, that is the auxiliary partial orthotopic LT. So here the left lobe of the recipient is excised and the donor occupies its space. So left is excised. Then moving on to the auxiliary heterotopic LT. So here in auxiliary heterotopic LT, the whole liver or lobe is uh, placed in the subhepatic space. So this is placed in the subhepatic space. Next is the piggy bag. The piggy bag liver transplant. The piggy bag liver transplant is where the ortho orthotopic LT is preserved, preserving the IVC. Then the split LT is a cadaveric liver. Split LT is a cadaveric liver. It is divided and given into the two recipients. So there is two recipients. That is the left lobe for a child and the right lobe for an adult. So LC that is left for the children, child and the right for the adult. So next, uh, the orthotopic LT, the graft is placed in the normal anatomical position that we already discussed. And now, then moving on to the, we saw split, 
next is a reduced lt reduced lc the graft is uh, reduced out to a functional unit of one recipient now let's look at some complications of the liver transplantation this can include the hepatic artery thrombosis that is you can have a, f- a fever you can have a bile leak and increased transaminases as well as the immediate trans transplantation next is a portal vein thrombosis portal vein thrombosis it occurs insidiously and there is no retransplant required next is a chronic uh, liver graft rejection so associated with the vanishing of the bile duct syndrome and relatively resistant to the hyperacute rejection but it is very uncommon then comes bile leak the biliary strictures the most common cause of the death after the lt is heart transplantation the small bowel transplantation heart transplantation the small bowel transplantation the sepsis as well as the multiple organ failure next we move on to the something known as a melt score so melt score is nothing but the model of the end stage liver disease it is used to assess the severity of the chronic liver disease and it predicts death within 3 months so it predicts death within 3 months and this is after the ti pps ti pss that is a transjugular intrahepatic photosystemic shunt transjugular intrahepatic photosystemic shunt so it is utilized by the unos the united network for organ sharing united network of the organ sharing and it is for prioritizing the liver alcohol allocation the components it includes a creatinine bilirubin and the iinr so it is a cbi that is a creat the bilirubin as well as the iinr so the mel score uh, ranges between the 6 to 40 is the range of the scoring next we move on to we saw the mel score now we'll move on to the pelt score so what is meant by the pelt score so pelt score means there is a pediatric end stage liver disease so pediatric end stage liver disease so this is uh, mainly used in case of children and what are the components the components is the nabia so it is nabia the component so pelt score it includes the nutrition age the bilirubin so bia is for the bilirubin albumin as i for the iinr to learn and grow daily like this please do subscribe